Hey guys, Desert Survivalist One back again with another video. This time I'd like to show you a uh, another good bag for carrying your uh, prepping supplies and so forth. This is going to be the let's get the terminology right here. The bag carrying protective ensemble NBC um, for nuclear, biological, chemical. This is what you actually carried your chem suit in through a lot of the 80s and 90s and into the 2000s until they replaced it with the somewhat larger J-list bag, but I believe you carried your uh, chemical protective, your coat, pants, and uh, boots, and probably some decontamination gear in here. I've never seen the uh, entire setup of what goes into here, but I do have seen I do have seen, wow that's a good one I have seen a lot of the bags just by themselves um, they're almost always in this woodland color um, this is a 1986 contract date it's got these weird little tabs on the outside which I guess you could attach a load carrying sling to or something it doesn't really do much good when they're over there and the whole bag is right there you got your little name pocket you've got a strip of webbing with the US and two Alice clips that you can moor this to a pistol belt or uh, you know maybe the side of your Alice pack with webbing um, and then on the back here we've got two just basic Fastex buckles and two very rudimentary straps that come down to form sort of a crude backpack. Now that's as that's as far as they adjust out. So it's going to be a backpack for a small person and impossible to carry that way for anybody over about five five. Fortunately, I'm about that height, so it <laughs> it works as a backpack for me. But um, I'm not sure whether it was intended to carry that way. At the top, it's just a velcro open uh, strip and there's actually two kind of areas on the edges that do not have velcro they're just kind of open air um, so you open it up there's your nomenclature there I had to laugh at this one because it's made by Silent Partner Incorporated some of these contractor names get pretty comical I've always thought that one was interesting but in order to look inside, there's no rigidity to it, it's just all nylon, and it's just one continuous compartment down into there. Um, I'd say it's probably about, oh, two feet long or so of a bag. Just a real simple piece of gear. Stuff whatever you want in there, sling it over your shoulder, or more, more it to your rucksack or whatnot, and you've got a nice little carry bag. I've always kept one around just for general purpose. I take them to the gun show sometime. They're great for, you know, taking to the yard sailing or, or whatnot, or even grocery shopping if you're into the uh, bring your own bag movement. Um, even gym bags, they make great gym bags because that's basically what the, uh, you know, the real cheap gym bags are is just two straps and your little flimsy backpack thing. So, but this is a hard use gear bag that'll stand up to some abuse <coughs> and uh, you can use it for your preps or collect or what <coughs> pardon me now the interesting thing is I was shopping for surplus at my local store a few years ago and I came across this thing and I said well that looks sort of familiar um, but it's in green I've never seen one in green, so I started looking at it and I notice. You know, let's do a little comparison here. Notice and there's some some different features. You know, these are there's two strips of these and they're angled. <coughs> Pardon me. And uh, you know, there no Alice clips. You know, this is this is just sewn to there and that's open enough to get a hand through. This one does have the backpack like straps only there's one only one fast X buckle on that one and they're still the exact same length 
flip it over, yeah, nothing. The real interesting thing, and this one's rather hard to open, because I'm going to put the camera down real fast, and you get to watch me open it from here, because it's too hard to open, which is probably why they put that tab on the regular one, but you open it up, and instead of a uh, nomenclature stamp, you've got Experimental Design, U.S. Army, Natick Research and Development Command, Natick, Massachusetts. So this is the experimental, or one of the experimental versions of the Woodland Bag. It's pretty hard to find experimental gear of any sort. The modern stuff is a little bit findable, but I'd say this piece is probably from, oh, you know, 80, 82 to 84, 85, somewhere in there. Um, it's kind of funny to realize that they do have to go through a prototyping process, even for simple stuff like this. But uh, they do it, and they test it, and they, you know, they do multiple versions. Sometimes, even after all those tests, they don't come out with a good piece of gear. But in this case, I think they came out with something that was simple but effective for the task, and it'll be simple yet effective if you end up using it for your prepping. Uh, I myself will keep these in my military collection and bust them out when I go on buying trips. <laughs> uh, but that's just another idea for prepping gear for you guys. So feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and uh, share this video with your friends. Have a good one, guys.